Hello everyone, it's Honey, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a Fluttershy from My Little Pony costume for your doll. This design for the dress is actually based on a costume I made for myself. Uh, so let's get started. So to make this, you're going to need yellow and pink fabric, which here I just used some cotton, a zipper, some lace, paper scissors, fabric scissors, pins, a sewing machine, and the pattern, which I will put a link for in the description. So start by printing out the pattern on a full piece of paper and cutting out all the pieces. Then cut out all the pieces out of your fabric. So out of the pink you will need uh, two of the waistband cut out on fold, two of the strap pieces also, and one bodice cut out on, also on fold. Finally you will need to measure out a rectangle 28 inches by 6. I decided to fold my fabric in half and cut out a 14 inch by 6 inch rectangle to make it easier for myself. Out of the yellow fabric you'll need to cut out one bodice piece on fold and another 28 inch by 6 inch rectangle. So now that you have all your pieces cut out, it's time to start sewing. Start by hemming the two longer sides of the strap pieces. This next step is a little complicated. and you may have to fiddle with the fabric a little bit to get it to work. So basically what you have to do is bunch up the two unhemmed edges and pin one end to the middle of the bumps of the sweetheart and then the other one two inches away from the farthest edge of the bodice. Repeat this on the other side. Make sure you pin it to the right side of the fabric. With the right sides together put the yellow bodice piece on top and pin it down. Then sew along the top edge of the bodice. Turn it inside out, making sure you press out all the curves. Here I quickly tried it on McKenna and made, made some adjustments to make sure it fit her. Once it fits your doll, top stitch the bodice along the top edge. Here's how it should look like. Okay, onto the skirt. Hem the bottom of the pink rectangle. Do the same for the yellow one. Then, pin your lace to the hemmed edge of the pink and sew it on. Then, place the yellow right side up on top of the pink which should also be right side up. Make sure you line up the bottom of the actual fabric and not the lace. Then sew along the top. Then change your sewing machine to the widest stitched and sew a basting stitch just underneath the last row of stitching. Then pull the one of the threads from the basting stitch to gather the skirt. Keep doing this until it is the width of the bodice. Now to the waistband. Place one of the pieces right sides together with the front of the bodice. Pin and then the other waistband piece to the back of the bodice, also right sides together. Pin all four layers together and sew along the bottom. Flip both sides of the waistband down. Then pin the skirt piece right sides together with the front waistband piece. Sew below the other lines of stitching. Then cut off the excess. Next, fold the edge of the back waistband under and then fold it over the top of the skirt and pin. Try to make it line up with the front waistband as best you can. Sew along the bottom edge of the waistband. Now for the zipper. So I actually wasn't able to record this piece so I'll just link a tutorial for an invisible zipper in the description and you'll just have to put that in here. And here is the completely sewn dress. So I'm going to do another video later showing you how to do put the cutie mark on the dress and make her wings and ears. So thank you for watching.